There are its own top performers in every class of vehicles. The fastest, the most well-armored, and the most well-armed. When comparing performance characteristics, though, we often don't pay much attention to the country of origin of each particular vehicle. But what happens if we have a competition between designs made by a specific nation? Let's see what the most distinguished, unusual vehicles produced are by engineers belonging to the same school of thought. And we'll start with the Soviet ground forces. The title of the most well-armored modern tank available to the USSR in the game goes to the T-80BVM MBT. The first model of the T-80 series was introduced as early as 1976, but the tank was heavily modernized throughout the years allowing it to reach its full potential. Today, it can take on the most advanced designs available elsewhere. And thanks to its Relict ERA package, the T-80 BVM can survive a hit by a DM-53, the most powerful APFSDS in all of War Thunder. The most well-armored tank of the classic configuration is the Object 279, developed in 1957. This was a four-track colossus with armor to match its enormous size. The Object 279 was well protected against sub-caliber munitions, including some APFSDS rounds. It's small wonder that it was built that way, really as it was intended to serve as a heavy breakthrough tank, and its all-cast hull was a big part of making that a reality. The heaviest tank in the Soviet Ground Forces roster is the massive IS-7, with a weight of 68 tons. In 1945, when it was just designed, it was the heaviest vehicle available to the Red Army, and to make it work, Soviet engineers equipped the vehicle with a 1,050 horsepower diesel engine, the M50T. As a result, despite its considerable weight, the IS-7 was surprisingly mobile, with a max speed of 60 kph. A very special place on our list is reserved for the tiniest Soviet vehicle available in the game, the ASU-57 tank destroyer. Its body is less than three and a half meters long. Thanks to its small size and a deadly 57 millimeter gun, the ASU-57 is ruthless in an ambush, making short work of any kind of opposition, regardless of their size. It's also a pretty decent fire support vehicle. That was its IRL job in Soviet airborne divisions after all. Then we have the BTR-152A, the fastest vehicle in the whole Soviet ground forces tree. This APC is based on a modified truck chassis with a power to weight ratio of 12.8 horsepower per ton. Objectively speaking, that's not that much, and the APC really struggles in off-road conditions. But this all-wheel drive vehicle is killing it on a good road with a max speed of up to 83 kph. If you want to have as many turrets as possible, then look no further than the T-35 land battleship. At one point, this five-turreted marvel of engineering served as the symbol of the Soviet armored forces. It was a giant landship, armed with three cannons and five machine guns. Not a tank, but a fortress on tracks. Finally, the most well-balanced tank in the Soviet roster is the T-44. Even though it arrived too late to take part in World War II, 
The T-44 revolutionized the Soviet tank industry. The team behind the project managed to design a vehicle that was almost perfect for its time. It had good armor, good mobility, and good firepower all at the same time. The T-44 can take care of basically anything you can throw its way, from spectacular breakthroughs to clandestine operations behind enemy lines. A true universal soldier right there. Trying to make the best design they possibly could, the engineers competed with each other by testing the limits of what was possible at the time and pushing the boundary forward. And it clearly worked. Every single vehicle on this list is amazing in its own way. What do you think of the vehicles that made it to this book of records? Please tell us in the comments below.